usually, I've gotten a whole box of breakaway glass and it was all broke away. <laughs> and you, you really can't reuse it or anything, it's done, you know? The point is, is the big sheets that you see people and cars and stuff go through is, it's tempered glass, just like a car window, side window, not the safety glass in your windshield, the side windows. You can break that piece of glass anywhere, it busts into a million little pieces. And um, what happens is the stunt, the effects guy will put a charge on it, and right as that stunt man's about ready to hit it, you break that piece of glass for him. And if it doesn't work and you're late and he bounces off of it, he's mad at you. <laughs> I've seen that happen. It's not a funny thing. I mean, it is, but he doesn't think it is. <laughs> but it happens. So your timing's good. I usually put a couple charges on there to make sure that doesn't happen. I'm going to shoot it in this blue area on the steel beam right there. These are the dust balls. We'll do the sparks because they're a little more dramatic next. Um, I'm just going to shoot right up there. I'm just going to shoot all three of them. It's a dust hit. Boy, you wouldn't want to get hit with one of these because it's definitely not a paintball. I've modified this gun to shoot these. I can buy them. The dust hits are about 3 or $4 a piece. The sparking hits are about 5 or $6 a piece. You can make them, but for 5 bucks a piece because I charge them, I'll buy them. I'm not that patient. So there's three hits right here. Here we go. I think two went. Try spark. So these are the spark hits. Same place. Wow. So I bet you've all seen that in the movies. And what will happen is on a car, I've done it in car scenes, you know, the window's up and there's a scene, the guy's doing a drive-by and, you know, they're doing bullet hits and I'll be literally, the camera will be here and I'll be off camera, thank you. I'll be off camera and, and just following that car, bam, 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 right behind a thing. Ace Venture Pet Detective, another low budget movie I worked on, just kidding, but I did work on it. There's a scene, you know, Ace Venture, what a goofball he was in that movie. The director went and had coffee all day. This guy, Jim Carrey made that movie. Anyways, there's that scene where he catches the bullet in his mouth, you know, he's like, tink. I was on the camera truck, you know, behind him, or in front of him as we're towing the car, and, you know, they call action, and I had a gun similar to this, and I'm just shooting spark balls at it. I mean, this goes a long way. Also, too, on a, especially on a low-budget movie, it's like, hey, can I have a bullet here? I'm ready. There's no rigging. I don't have to get the pyro out or wire or anything. And you're a hero. But the thing, too, which is neat about this, remember the guy says, how much for bullet hits? Remember that? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. <laughs> that's how you bill them. I mean, that's how I do it. It's kind of fun. Same thing, actually, if you rent weapons, too, which is a little off the side. The blanks are the same way. They're about, I don't know, 60, 70 cents a piece. You get a fully automatic weapon on the set, 10 bucks, you know? But I don't do that. You've got to have a class three weapons license and a handler, and that's really another specialty. I can deal with the semi-automatic and the handguns, but full auto, then you have to hire a specialist for that kind of stuff. And those guys, that's generally all they do, weapons. So pretty neat gun. This is an older style paintball gun. I modified the barrel, just honed it out so it would take these 60 caliber balls and shoot them.